welcome to Fight News Now Extra Boxing Edition. I am Corey Erdman. Coming up today, Timothy Bradley gets another crack at a welterweight title. Brandon Rios eyes his ring return. And Mitt Romney steps into the squared circle for the very first time. Well, Floyd Mayweather said that he would be vacating all of his titles in order to give an opportunity to young fighters. However, it turns out a former champion and a former fighter of his will get a crack at one of those titles instead. Timothy Bradley and Jesse Vargas will now fight for the WBO welterweight title on June 27th at the StubHub Center in Carson, California, live on HBO. Bradley is, of course, a former holder of the WBO strap, which he lost to Manny Pacquiao in their 2014 rematch. Vargas, meanwhile, is a title holder at junior welterweight, but will be leaping up seven pounds for the prestige of a headlining slot. Saddam Ali is currently the mandatory challenger for whoever the winner of the fight may be. According to trainer Robert Garcia, Brandon Rios could make his return on the Bradley Vargas undercard. Nothing is finalized, of course, so the expectation for the quality of the fight shouldn't be much more than a stay busy affair. Rios has been rumored as a possible opponent for Bradley recently, as well as for IBF welterweight champion Kel Brook. Bam Bam was last seen in January demolishing Mike Alvarado in the rubber match of their exciting trilogy. Former welterweight titleist Pauli Malignaggi has been forced to withdraw from his May 29th Premier Boxing Champions bout with Danny O'Connor. Malignaggi suffered a deep cut during sparring last week and will not be able to heal in time to make the fight happen. As a result, O'Connor will move to this weekend's PBC undercard in Boston and the vacant WBA Super Featherweight title bout between Javier Fortuna and Brian Vasquez will now be the televised open. And lastly, former heavyweight champ Evander Holyfield made a return to the ring over the weekend against former presidential candidate Mitt Romney. He squared off in a charity bout with proceeds of going towards surgeries for the blind and medical supplies for those living in poverty. From the fight footage here, the fight was absolutely on the up and up. That's all for today's boxing news. For more on the sweet science, log on to fightnetwork.com and follow us on Twitter at Fightnet.